This uh, state park was uh, an example of having my expectations completely blown away. Because I thought I was not going to be able to go to sleep. Because the last few times I've been in state parks, it, even up to 1.30 in the morning, I'm like, people are partying. And at 10 o'clock last night, even though there were more people around me than I've ever had, everybody went silent. It became like super peaceful. My logistics makes it where I have a 56 mile day, so it's not that long. I'm gonna really slow down and enjoy because I think this is gonna be the beginning of the most scenic part of all of um, my Michigan experience. From now on, it's just gonna get more and more gorgeous. Perfectly paved, forested road with hardly any traffic whatsoever. And it just seems like it goes on forever. My map says it too, so this is going to be a lot of today. Western Michigan is a total blast to tour. There are so many quaint cities and towns to ride through and the trails never seem to end. Most of the roads are well paved with few exceptions and the scenery is outstanding with lush forests that seem to become more abundant the further one rides north. On this early September day I first ride into the city of Whitehall where I stopped to check out the Dirt Dauber Butterfly Garden in Hanson Hill with its picturesque view of White Lake and its marinas covered in sailboats. After checking Whitehall Center on Colby Street, I descend onto the Hart Montague Trail where there were plenty of fishermen having their fun and soon after meet up with four of the coolest folks on this planet. All four of them were riding tricycles and offered for me to take one of them for a spin. Since I've never ridden one of these trikes before, I jumped on the opportunity and ended up surprised by how much fun they are. They were catching them up. Alright, I'll be back. Alrighty. Don't worry, I'll be back because I love my bike. I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, lock your heels down in the strap. Wow, you can just chill out and pedal. I like it a lot. I don't know that you can go that fast though, but I'm gonna give it a try right now. Oh yeah, you can go fast. This is actually really good. I love it. How chill. Really, really impressed by this. I'm impressed. I really like it. A lot. All right, they they abducted me. 
<laughs> but I, I gotta go. Right. I've had a ball talking with them. They're like the fittest, coolest people I've met in a while. And I, I, I want to thank you guys for nice. taking the time to talk to me. Let's keep cycling, here. eh? Okay. Yes. All right. Well, that was a blast. <laughs> that was. A, oh man, I love meeting people. They were so sweet. I uh, I just had a ball. I just totally made my day to meet with with them for. And uh, I look forward to hearing from them. I think I will. I will uh, be thinking about trikes now. They were fun. That was that was a fun way to go around. I definitely recommend giving that a try for anyone who's even remotely thinking about it. I leave Whitehall behind and keep riding on the Hart Montague trail where I catch a tailwind at the right time of day and start picking up speed. It never fails that around mile 17 of most of my days I get all pumped full of energy and I get going as fast as I can for about 5 to 10 miles before I go back to a more moderate pace. Woo! I wanna groove! I got a little bit of a tailwind and it's just getting me going. Woo! Hey guys. Hey. Hey, hi. How's it going? How are you doing? It's getting dark. I feel that rain, that moisture in the air, and it's building up. Next town is uh, Shelby, and then Hart, then London. Another uh, 40 miles. Got a 25 right now. I'm here with uh, Mike. He's uh, riding from Detroit. He didn't go through Lansing, he went through St. John and then uh, came through Mus Muskegon and now he's going to Ludington where he's finishing his, uh, his tour. His wife and a uh, friend of his, right? It was my brother's place. Put my wife's pillow with the van to pick me up, so it's all good. You say you're like riding over 80 miles a day? Yes. Wow, that's insane. Today's guy said today's gonna be the longest, probably uh, mid 90s, I'm guessing. You, you, how many tours a year do you do? Um, this is my first one in a long time. My wife and I rode tandem a lot before we had the child, who's now 17. And we used to do, uh, you know, the week-long things where you do about 70 a day and they take your luggage from point A to point B. Yeah, I like that idea. a bunch of those. But then I managed to, uh, with her being born, I can't manage a bike store. Woohoo! And, uh, now I'm back in the automotive business. Mike's saying that he uh, really likes using that trailer. What are the pros and cons of using the trailer? Well, I got the weight off the bike, which is what I like. This one's a single wheel, so it tracks well behind the bike, I don't have to worry about it. But when you have a dual wheel trailer, it gives a little bit more stability, especially when you want to get off and on the bike. So when you lean over to get on the bike, you're leaning all the way to the trailer over as well. So, I do like this though because I can put all my stuff in it and then take off. Thanks Mike, thanks for showing me your, your, your rig there.
got off the trail when I passed uh, Hart and um, now I'm on some road. I haven't seen a sign for which road it is, but it's a straight shot north. I got a 28 more miles to go. Just riding on some road, going somewhere. That's about all there is to it. It's uh, icky weather, but sort of pleasant in temperature and no real heavy wind at all. Like just, I'm just cruising, just making the miles. It's happening. It's getting uh, legit ahead. Beautiful scenery, thicker forest. These roads are so nice. It's coming. Like Upper Michigan, it's gonna be beyond belief. Are you guys seeing this? Unbelievable. Sure enough, the rain started to come down as I was expecting with only five miles left to reach the city of Ludington. I stopped to cover my Brooks leather saddle, cover my Arkell handlebar bag where I keep my video equipment and put on a rain jacket. This might seem like an inconvenience as it clearly is, but I happen to cherish these moments where I'm made to pay more attention with incoming foul weather. It's moments like these that make me feel most alive. I'm not far from uh, Ludington. I just lucked out. I'm like not wanting to go camp. And uh, <laughs> I don't know how this happens to me. But uh, I got to Ludington and I was going to the state park and I'm dying to keep camping, but it is pouring and it's not gonna stop pouring. It's been like prepping all day and it's one of those storms that just drizzles and stops, drizzles and stops. and it just continues to build and once it gets going it's never going to stop all night so i didn't feel like going to a state park wet to put up my tent anyways as soon as i come into ludington i see this nova motel and i passed it but i look back like I, I noticed it as i drove by i rode by and i was just like that looked legit so i turn around come back talk to the lady she cuts me a break 70 bucks and I got this, this is, I think you guys know from uh, watching my my channel, I, I'm absolutely crazy about small American mom and pop motels and Joni and her husband, they run it and it's like retro, but clean. I'm gonna just enjoy the, the afternoon here, <laughs> the evening, it's like, six o'clock right now and and uh just do some work on my computer and rest get ready for tomorrow today was phenomenal another amazing day in bicycle touring world
It's September 5th and I've been on the road from Boston, Massachusetts for a month now and have ridden over 8 states so far covering close to 1,750 miles. Ahead of me are 10 more days in the state of Michigan and its upper peninsula. As of today I'm expectant but not fully aware of the natural beauty that's coming my way with every mile on my path. I say goodbye to Joni and keep on heading north towards Michigan's famous M22 and M119 roads that meander along Michigan's lake's eastern coastline.